I was uh, probably around five, I met my great-grandfather. I come from a religious minority who believe in reincarnation, and so I was introduced to someone who was in fact the return of my great-grandfather. When you're a kid, that does something to your place in the world. It kind of changes the way you think about individuality. Why perhaps I'm interested in sound, because I'm really interested in leakage in the leakage between things, not necessarily things identified in their kind of isolatable units. My name is Lawrence Abu Hamdan, I'm an artist. I am working out of Al Sirkal Arts Foundation in Dubai. The more I think about it, I'm not really making artworks. What I aspire to make is conditions to see and hear a story that are distinct from the ways we're normally used to seeing and hearing such stories. This was the toilet, but we would need much more use of a sound studio than a toilet. So we turned it into a little recording room with this white felt that was an excess material. I make uh, audio investigations. I do my own kind of forensic analysis of sound, but really that I'm independently operating. I work with advocacy groups like Amnesty and Defense for Children International. I've testified in, in trials in the UK. Ear witness testimony, as opposed to eyewitness testimony, is the most prevalent source of evidence. Why? Because sound leaks. Crimes, for example, are not meant to happen with any witnesses, right? So they happen, let's say, behind in the private walls of a home that leak out or in the dark alleyway. And many of the most famous trials hinged on ear witness testimony, right? Uh, parts of O.J. Simpson trial, Trayvon Martin, Oscar Pistorius. Yet, when it came to testify to those sounds, we really didn't have the language to, to speak about them. Say, a sound is sharp, right, relating to touch, or a sound is bright, relating to uh, vision but we don't really have a good vocabulary for the description of sound. So in 2018, I began to build my own sound effects library called the Ear Witness Inventory. It's, as it stands now, it's a collection of 96 objects. Some of them are very random. Each one of those objects tells a story. And I started to understand that objects didn't only um, stand in metaphorically for the sound they were hearing. You could use the sound to kind of open memory. Projects have taken the form of websites or a pair of binoculars in Liverpool city centre. There have been Islamic cassette sermons in Cairo. There have been mouth dioramas. There have been thermographic prints of birthmarks. There have been uh, Instagram pages which allow us for the crowdsourcing of planes, uh, Israeli violations of uh, uh, drones and, and fighter jets over Lebanon. My last film, Once Removed, from 2019. The film is a kind of video portrait and an interview with someone called Basil Abi Shaheen. He's a autodidact historian, but he's also the reincarnation of uh, a child soldier who died during uh, the Shuf War in Lebanon in 1984. Do I believe this guy is really the reincarnation of this person or not? Because that's irrelevant. And that's because it's really about another kind of leakage. It's not the sound through wall, but the leakage of a soul from the dead to the living. Uh, the transmigration of speech from, from the dead to the living. Each discipline has its own way of telling the truth. I think art is also a mode of truth production for me, and that's how I like to use it.